So namaste everyone. Welcome to Wake Up Yoga. My name is Patty and I'm going to guide you through practice. I'm going to read our uh, waiver before we begin. In order to make these classes as freely accessible as possible to all our participants, we will be using a verbal warning and assumption of risk at the beginning of the class. Participation in this online class is voluntary. Physical activity programs may result in injury, and by participating, you assume the risk of the injury that may result from your participation. We strongly recommend that you participate from a space that is suitable for this activity. For example, make sure that you've moved nearby furniture or other potential hazards. If you are participating in a yoga class or a class that involves laying on the ground, we recommend using a mat or if you don't have one, a carpeted area. Participants are encouraged to stop if they experience pain or injury and should seek appropriate medical advice or care as needed. William & Mary Health and Wellness strongly recommends that each participant have an annual physical exam and follow the advice of your healthcare provider before participating. So thank you everyone for your patience. We're gonna begin practice today in child's pose. And making it the child's pose that serves you best today, is we're gonna come to our breath in this space, maybe a little more wide-legged, allowing some room for the diaphragm. And then noting today, Maybe child's pose just doesn't feel right if that doesn't come to Varasana or hero's pose as you notice the breath. If you're like me this morning, I'm knee deep in one of my allergies. So the breath is a little different today. Allow yourself time to notice that for yourself. And then when you have a good awareness of where your breath is at, take some time to expand the breath. Deepening the inhales. Lengthening the exhales. Finding that rhythm of breath that feels just right for you in this moment. Settling in to that rhythm of breath for your practice. Maybe adding in the audible sound of an ujjayi breath. And then as you move into that breath for practice, taking the time now to notice what's going on in your physical body to death. Doing that quick scan from head to toe, and then back from toe to head. Just making note with curiosity, not judgment. And then allow yourself to just step into the mind space for a moment. Just bringing yourself into this present moment. Letting everything go. And then once you've found your rhythm of breath for practice, you're gonna make your way as mindfully as you can into a tabletop. Placing the hands on the mat, start to spread the fingers nice and wide. Bring the knees underneath the hips. Maybe rock the hips side to side. And then drawing the weight into the hands, make sure that the hands and the wrists are underneath the shoulder heads. 
take a quick peek between the legs, make sure you don't see the feet, and then do a nice external rotation of the shoulders, letting the heart shine forward, pressing into the tops of the feet, get a little core engagement here, reach the crown of the head towards the front of your mat. And then adding in movement here as it feels right for you. So moving into your cow, drawing the navel down, gaze up. Moving right through that tabletop into that cat back, rounding the back. Articulating each one of the vertebrae as you move through cow and cat at your pace with your breath, adding in any organic movement as it feels right for you. Once you have this awareness, taking a few more rounds here. Noticing how movement with breath is this morning. And then finding stillness now back in your tabletop. Let's make it a super active tabletop. Making any adjustments is needed. Start engaging all the muscles in the arms, the legs, the core, the back. And then as you're ready, mindfully walk the hands back as you come up onto the knees, making your way into a humble mountain. Chin is neutral, core engaged. Lengthen the spine just a little bit more as we begin to fight gravity. If it feels right to tuck the toes here, go ahead and go there. And then draw the hands to heart center here. Setting an intention maybe for practice today. Once that intention is formed, take a nice deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale, letting it go. And then from here, drawing the arms out to cactus arms or field goal arms. Take a little bit of a back bend here, drawing the gaze up towards the ceiling, opening the heart a little. And then coming back to neutral, reach the arms up and overhead. Face the palms towards the front of your mat. And with core engaged, start to come forward with the hands, bringing the hands down to the mat. Shifting the weight forward, coming into a modified plank, lowering chin, chest to the mat, and then coming down onto the abs, third eye on the mat. Press the tops of the feet into the floor, feel the knees left, the core engaged. Exhale, roll the air out. Inhale, lengthen the spine. No weight in the hands. Come on up. Cobra. Exhale, release. Press yourselves back in to child's pose. Inhale, come on back up into that humble mountain. Arms up and overhead. Palms face the front. Coming forward, finding that modified plank here, lowering chin, chest down, draw yourself through into that cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, back into child's pose. Checking in. Where are we at this morning? How is the breath with the movement? And that beautiful, humble salutation. Knowing as we move on through practice, you can stay in the space that's right for you, adding on more or taking out what you need to. 
as you are ready, reaching the arms out in front, tuck the toes, lift the hips, find your first down dog of practice. As we take time here in this down dog, let's just add some nice movement in, coming up onto the toes, walking your dog a little, maybe rolling forward with a little bit of movement here. Some modified cat and cows from down dog. Taking time as we take a look at that posterior chain of the body. What does it need this morning? What is it telling you? And then once you're ready to find that stillness, let it happen and maybe start sinking the heels down towards the mat. Two more breath cycles here. And then walk the hands back to the feet. Allow yourself to just soften into your forward fold, bending the knees as much as you need to to find that space. Maybe holding on to opposite elbows, rocking side to side if that feels right. Maybe drawing the hands over to the right side of the mat, lumping that left hip out. Moving across to the left side, drawing the right. Making your way back to center from wherever you are and just softening a little bit more. Shake the head yes and no gently, releasing any tension. And then take the fingers, draw them up to the shins, hug the elbows in. Find that tabletop back, crown of the head, reaching forward, exhale, release. Bringing hands to heart center, push into the feet, nice long back, come on up, samastiti, letting the hands go, find your mountain here at the back of your mat. Allow yourself to move the feet around a little bit. Find that grounding down into the feet. Maybe rocking forwards, backwards, side to side. Finding stillness in the feet, bend the knees, engage those quads, lift them up. Navel lifts up towards the rib cage. Nice, beautiful external rotation of the shoulders. Chin is neutral, crown of the head reaching. On an inhale, lift the arms up and overhead. Take the gaze up. Bring the palms together here and let's find that steeple mudra. Bring the chin back to neutral and start just rocking side to side here. If it feels right and you want to challenge your balance a little bit more, go ahead and heel to the feet in a little closer. If your body is calling for a little bit deeper stretch, the next time you move to the right side, just hold. Bump that left hip out, press into that left foot a little bit more, inhaling back to center, and then moving to the left side, bump the right hip up. Inhaling back to center, drawing the hands through hard center, pausing in some speaking. From here, let's find those cactus or goal post arms again and just shine the heart forward, maybe taking the gaze up towards the ceiling, pushing the hips forward, maybe deepening the back. Inhale, come on back to neutral. Palms come to 
gather through heart center. Find your mountain. Roll the shoulders back three times. And then roll them forward three times. Inhaling back to that neutral place of mountain, engaging the core, noticing. On an inhale, lift the arms up and overhead. Exhale, swan belly forward. Inhale, take that half left. Exhale, release. Walk the hands out to down dog. Pausing in down dog. Enjoying the space. And then lift the right leg into the air, finding that three-legged dog. Taking the gaze to the top of the mat, step that right foot through. We're going to lower the left knee, find a low lunge. Adding in here whatever movement you'd like, if you'd like to rock back and forth. Maybe pausing and stillness, drawing the hands up to the quads, lifting the arms up and overhead if that feels right for you. Wherever we're at, we're going to meet with the hands, bringing that front foot. We're going to untuck the back toes. We're going to take that right foot. We're going to step back to a plank. We're going to lower the knees and come on down the mat. Finding that cobra, maybe you're ready to put a little bit more weight into the hands, pressing in and up. Exhale back down, pressing up to tabletop or plank, finding down dog. Two breaths here. Then lifting the left leg into the air, taking the gaze forward, stop that left foot forward, lower the right knee, coming onto the top of the right foot, and then making any dynamic movement here that you'd like, rocking back and forth. And then if it feels right, coming up, with the hands on that left quad, maybe reaching the arms up and overhead. From here, wherever you're at, the hands are gonna frame the foot. You're gonna untuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step back to that plank. You're gonna lower down. If you're ready for chaturanga, coming here, we're going to meet in down dog. Lowering the knees after two breath cycles and finding child's pose. Checking in. Where are you at? Where's your breath at? Taking water is needed. And then as you are ready, reaching the arms out in front of them, they're not already there. You're going to make your way to your down dog. From here, you're going to mindfully make your way to the top of the mat. So if you're ready to hop, go ahead and go there. Otherwise, walking or stepping. Moving into your forward fold. Maybe you're ready as you come into forward fold to reach the arms behind, holding onto opposite elbows. Releasing the hands if you're holding on to the elbows. Finding that tabletop back here. 
exhale, release. Reaching the arms out in front this time. Let's engage the core. Long back, come on up. Palms touch, maybe a baby back bend here. Come back to neutral. Hands to Samastiti. Pause with hands at heart center. Checking in. Lengthening the spine, engaging the core and then finding your mountain. Breathe. Then drawing hands to heart center. Let's balance in tree. So as you're ready, we're going to shift the weight into the left foot. We're gonna come up onto the toes of the right. Taking time to settle in here. And then as you're ready, Taking that right knee out to the side, maybe the heel just rests on the leg. Maybe you left the foot up today. Making sure we're not touching the knee. Once you get settled in, letting the arms come up and overhead. Maybe finding a mudra. Maybe taking the gaze up towards the ceiling. Keep the core engaged. Wherever you're at, if you're holding a mudra, releasing the mudra, bringing the gaze back to neutral, palms come up and overhead, flow through to heart center, and then release the right foot back to the floor. Leaving hands at heart center, let's just take that left foot and turn it upside down here, coming and stretching the top of that left foot. Bringing that left foot back to center. We're going to lift up all 10 toes and draw them back down to the mat. Grounding in a little deeper. And then preparing to go to the other side, getting a little more core engagement, a little more grounding in the right foot. Come on up onto the toes of the left. Then from here, finding your expression on this side, whatever it may look like, taking that knee out, lifting up if that feels right today. Once you get settled in, lifting the arms up and overhead, maybe finding a different mudra on this side. Maybe the gaze up. Settling in, honoring the breath. Then wherever you're at, if you're holding a mudra, release it. If the gaze is up, bring it back to neutral. Drawing the palms back together through to heart center as you pause. And then releasing that left foot back to the mat. While hands are at heart center, let's stretch the top of that right foot. Bring it back to center, lifting up all 10 toes, spread them wide, draw them down to the mat. Releasing the hands to mountain, finding your most rounded mountain of practice right now. On an inhale, you're gonna lift the arms up and overhead, Taking the gaze up, bringing palms together, drawing hands through to heart center. You're going to shift the weight into the right foot. You're going to lift up the left foot. You're going to stop back and find warrior two legs. So that bend in the right knee. Open the arms up, gaze over the right hand. Breathe. Flip that right palm, reach it up towards the ceiling. Come back down to warrior two. Then taking the hands and clasping them behind, just draw the hands down towards the floor a little, opening up the heart. 
Then releasing the hands, come on back to warrior two. Sweep the left hand to meet the right, and then allow yourself to fold forward, framing that front foot. Step back to a plank, take the flow of your choice. Remember you've got cat and cow, cobra, up dog, Wherever you're going, we're going to meet in down dog. You're going to take two breaths in down dog. When you're ready, you're going to mindfully make your way to the top of the mat, whatever that looks like this morning. Finding that forward fold. Maybe this time you'd like to take the hands and clasp them behind the body. As you did in warrior two, maybe lifting the arms up and overhead. Bringing the hands back to the sacrum first, letting them fall down towards the mat. Finding that nice half left, releasing. And then reversing your swan, nice flat back, come all the way up. Nice length and upward salute. Palms come together. Hands down to heart center. Pause. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. And then getting ready to move to the other side. We're going to come up onto the toes of the right foot. We're going to stop back. Find our warrior two on this side. Taking time to settle in, we're going to flip the left palm, reach up, lengthen both sides equally. Then coming back down to warrior two, if you'd like to do that bit of a heart opener on this side, clasping the hands behind the body, bringing the palms together, reaching the hand down towards the floor, lifting the gaze, opening the heart. One more breath here. And then releasing the hands, coming back to warrior two. Taking that right hand, swinging it to the front of the mat, framing that left foot, spinning onto those right toes, step back, take the flow of your choice, Meeting in down dog. Two breath cycles here. And then lowering the knees. Finding child's pose. Coming back to your breath. Where are you at? So then from here, you're gonna just reach the arms out in front and you're just gonna kind of crawl along the mat to bring yourself down onto your abs. We're gonna take right hand in center, left hand on top. We're going to place the third eye on our hands. Settling in here, maybe rocking the hips side to side, relaxing the shoulders back and down. Then from this space, we're going to bend up both knees, and we're going to put flexion in the feet. We're going to rock the legs side to side, a little windshield wiper action. Making sure that the low back is nice and relaxed. And then from here, finding stillness back in center. 
We're going to reach back with the left hand to grab the left foot or ankle. If it feels right to add the right end, you're going to go there. And then from here, you've got all sorts of options. If it just feels like you'd like to take a nice quad stretch here, you can start to just draw the heels back towards the glutes. But if you're feeling like you'd like to move into another back bend here, on an inhale, you're gonna press the feet into the hands, lifting up into floor bow, drawing the legs together, sipping in air. When you're ready, releasing back down to the mat, gently releasing the hands from the feet and rocking side to side. As you bring stillness to the feet, and if you'd like to, you can place the hands underneath the third eye again, allowing a little bit more room for breath. Roll the ankles while the knees are still bent here. And then draw the feet down to the floor, letting the hands come along the side of the body, palms turned up, finding your right cheek on the mat. Two breath cycles here. Draw the gaze back to center, third eye on the mat. Inhale, left cheek to the mat. Two breath cycles here. Then from here, bringing the third eye back to the mat, we're going to Press the hands into the mat, and we're going to make our way up to tabletop. We're going to take around the cow and cat, or cat and cow, whichever feels right to you. Just a little reset of the spine after that back bend. And then bringing glutes towards heels, we're going to set in Hero's Pose or Varasana. Just feeling into the benefits of our back bending this morning. Maybe noticing the body energized. Maybe noticing the breath a little easier to come to. Then from this space, we're gonna swing the legs to either the right or the left. You're gonna bring your feet to the top of your mat as you come down onto your sit bones. Leaving the feet on the floor, we're going to take the arms and hug them underneath. Start with a nice long back, drawing the abs and the chest to the quads. And then when you settle in here, if it feels right to start to round the back, let yourself go there. Then, as you're ready, releasing the third eye, lengthening again, releasing the hands, we're going to draw the arms out in front. Let's have the palms facing each other, or option to bring hands to heart center. That's Samasthiti again. And then from here, engaging the core, 
you're gonna slowly recline down onto the mat, making it as much work as you would like this morning. Remembering to gently place the shoulder blades and the head on the mat. Once you get there, releasing the arms along the side. We're gonna have the feet on the floor, knees facing up, about hip width distance, and just rock the knees side to side. From here, hugging the knees into the chest, placing the hands on the shin. See if when you do that, you can relax the shoulder blades down and on the mat, hug the elbows in. Put flexion in the feet, making the legs active. From here, releasing the left leg, you're gonna hug the right in, you're gonna lift the left leg up towards the ceiling. Put flexion in that foot like that foot is walking on the ceiling. Then from here, as you hug that right knee in, you're gonna drift that left heel down to the floor as slowly as you can. If it feels right to let that leg just Hover, heel hovering over the floor. Stay there for a moment. Then releasing the heel to the floor. Hug the right hand just a little more. Drawing the right arm out to either cactus or T. Take the left hand and draw that leg across the body. Finding a twist. Keeping the shoulders on the mat. And then when it feels right to take the gaze over the opposite shoulder, go ahead and go there. Only if it feels super yummy. Inhale, come on back to center. Hug, hug, hug that right knee in. Then bringing awareness to that left leg again. You're going to draw that awareness of that leg so that it comes straight back up towards the ceiling, that flexion in the foot. Once it gets there, bending the knee, hugging both knees in. If it feels right to maybe do a little circle action with the knees, go ahead and go there. And then drawing both hands to that left knee, right leg up. Push through that right heel. Flexion in both feet. Draw that right leg down, slow as you can. As you hug that left knee in, just a little bit more. Same thing on this side, if it feels right to just hover that leg just a little bit as it just hovers over the mat. And then as you're ready, placing that heel on the mat, hugging left in just a little more, taking left arm, bringing it out to T or cactus, and then with the right hand drawing that leg across the body. Taking time here to notice difference between right and left, what happens to your breath as you come into the twist, and of course, if it feels right to take the knees over the opposite shoulder, going there. Then as you're ready, bringing gaze back to center, knee back to center, Hug that left knee in, awareness of that right leg, flexion in that foot, as you mindfully lift that leg up towards the sand. Bending that knee, hugging that leg in just a little bit more. And then from this space, 
You're welcome to just hug the knees in. I have a couple options for you this morning. If it feels right to come into that little yoga egg, only if you have no neck or back concerns. But if it feels like it would be yummy to into a happy baby, let yourself come there. If you can, whichever one you choose, find stillness in the posture. And then from that space of stillness, allowing yourself to gently release the posture and settling into your Shavasana. Finding that shape that's right for you today. Knowing there's no right or wrong to your shape. Listen to what your body is telling you. As you find a place of stillness, find that place of relaxation. Knowing that all your hard work is done. So the only thing left for you to do right now is to just take in your practice. So you only need to just be. As you hear the sound of the singing bowl, starting to follow the sound, bringing yourself back into the space. As you are ready, starting to deepen your inhales, lengthen your exhales. As you add more breath into the body, noticing the movement as your body calls for it, and just letting that happen naturally. As your body is ready for more movement, just letting it increase, whether it be wiggle of shoulders, head on the mat. As you make your way to your deepest inhale, longest exhale, reaching arms up and over, how if that feels right to you? And then allowing yourself to roll to your right side, finding that position, that place of new beginnings, the yoga egg. Taking just a moment here, gratitude to yourselves for taking the time to practice today. This beautiful act of self-care. And then if you are ready to draw awareness into the left hand, spread the fingers nice and wide on the left hand. When you're ready to let that left hand flow down to the floor, let the hand settle in and then press some weight into the hand, coming up to a comfortable seated position. Bringing hands to heart center if you're comfortable with doing so. I thank you all for the privilege of guiding you through your morning practice. I hope the benefits of practice follow you into your day today. May you all be happy. May you be safe. May you walk this earth always in loving kindness, at peace, and always at ease. From my heart to all of your hearts. Namaste, yogis, and have an awesome day, everyone.